Good luck, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey. Ah, it's terrible, <laughs> like always. You know, you, you watch the television and you can see guys coming close to, to your time and uh, yeah, the heart rate is, is, uh, is rising and uh, yeah, it's a, you feel alive. That's, uh, that's the best way to, to describe it. Catania, the Italian, leans it into the final corner, drives out of it, sprints for the finish line. Is it going to be the first rider under 33? It is nearly six seconds faster. Let's see whether he can produce the fastest time. It's certainly looking like it. This has been a powerful, scintillating ride by Stefan Kung. He's not just going to beat the time of Catania, he's going to smash it out of sight. 36 seconds faster, 50 and a half kilometers an hour. Roglic kicking things off for the favourites with Stefan Kung now in the hot seat. Van der Poel preparing to defend his yellow jersey. Roglic crosses the line, fourth fastest, nearly 50 kilometres an hour. Well, he might be battle bruised, he might be scratched to pieces, but this rider has just produced a fantastic time trial. Well, Geraint Thomas losing time over a minute, the 2018 winner slipping out of the top 10 overall. Pogacar about to get this time trial started. This is a critical moment in the Tour de France for the contenders. Pogaccia obliterates the time of Kuhn, 17 seconds faster. Mathieu van der Poel is holding position. He started today eight seconds faster than Julien Alaphilippe. Pogaccia has produced a sparkling time trial. It may not be the yellow jersey tonight, but this rider is stating that he is the rider to beat in this year's Tour de France. 18.2 seconds is the winning margin for Tadej Pogaccia. 32 minutes and 39 seconds. It's going to be very, very close. In fact, it might come down to a photograph. Pogacar is looking a little bit straight, shaking his head. Can Matthew van der Poel pull this one out of the bag? Sprinting round the next couple of turns, he's giving this absolutely everything to hold on to the Mayo Jean, the yellow jersey. Here goes Matthew van der Poel, sprinting for the finish line, giving this every single little bit of power he's got left in the legs. He turns round that next turn. Remember the time he needs to be inside is 32 minutes and 39 seconds, he holds the Mayo Jean.